Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mirage and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a tier list, something I've never done before. Uh, I'm going to go, I want to show you guys what bosses in RuneScape give the most GP and what bosses give the worst GP per hour. Quick disclaimer before we get into this though, obviously all these are average GP per hour. Any, any time that someone's talking about a boss or anything like that and how much money they're making, they're talking about the average. Of course, you could go to somewhere like Vindicta one hour and get five mil, and then the next hour you could go and get three lances and make almost a hundred mil. But you obviously need to take the average of how long it's going to take to get a drop and how much money you're going to make based off the drop in the commons. And real quick before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to Maxime for commenting. He's working on his Croesus log. Hopefully you get that done, brother. Uh, I went ahead and added him and gave him that 10 mil, which you guys can see on the screen now. Comment down below how long you've been playing RuneScape. It could be RuneScape 3, old school, it doesn't matter, whatever you're playing with your RuneScape name. Make sure you leave that. A couple people left comments without their arson, so make sure you leave that. That's super important. And for a chance for a shout out and 10 mil again in the next video. Also, one more thing before we jump into it, 98% of the people who view my videos aren't subscribed. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, so if you do enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing's free. If you change your mind and I bore you, then you can always uh, unsubscribe at any time. But we are going to be doing a bond giveaway at 100 subscribers, so yeah, we're almost there, guys. Let's get into the video. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, start this tier list here. So we've got the 10 mil or below, 10 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100, and 100 mil plus per hour. Uh, and we've got all the bosses down here. Shout out to Nuznuz, I believe. He's the one that set this up. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're just going to start at the top and work our way down. And I'm kind of going to explain some of my answers as I go along, unless they're just super self-explanatory. So first of all, we've got Dagonoth Kings. Dagonoth Kings have recently become really good uh, with the price of Seer rings. Seer's Rings hitting 16 mil and the price of B Rings about 10 mil. With Dagonoth Kings, on average, I would say you're still going to be making just about 10 mil an hour, unless you're super lucky, so we're going to go ahead and chuck this here. Alright, next up we've got AOD. AOD just prints money. This is the money machine right here. Appraisal codexes are stupid. Wands appraisal or codex, codexes are stupid. Assuming that you're getting a good team and 2 minute 30 second kills, you're probably going to be making somewhere about 75 to 100 mil an hour. Uh, maybe 100 mil plus. Uh, so for right now, we'll put it here, but I'm gonna actually think on this one. Next, we've got ED2 as a whole, and specific though, we got Blackstone Dragon. Really doesn't give that much money. Uh, we're gonna be just, uh, with, with all the EDs, we're gonna be saying uh, all three bosses included. So ED2, you've got the chance at the greater melee codexes at a 1 in 33 per codex rate, technically a 1 in 100 for a specific. Um, ED2 commons aren't super crazy, and if you get unlucky at the bosses, you're not going to be really making that much money. So with ED2, depending on how much you can do, I would say ED2 is probably closer to 50 mil. Uh, so we'll probably chuck, yeah, we'll chuck ED2 right here in the 25 to 50 mil range. Next is Corp Beast. It's not a very good boss. You're not going to make too much money. It's going to be less money than DAG, so we're going to throw it in there in 10 mil or below. It's a starter boss. You're not going to be making too much money on it. We got Care Pack. Hard mode and normal mode obviously is way, 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 way different. Normal mode, I'd put Care Pack in about 25 to 50 just because of the price of a greater conk. It's going to be closer to the lower end of that, but hard mode is what we're going to be ranking this on. Hard mode can easy be 100 mil plus at a 1 in 150 drop rate for staff piece, and staff piece is climbing. I mean, the, at the time of recording, the fractured staff armadillo is around 5.4 bill now. It was just at 5.1. And I only see it going up being the best staff in the game. So you're looking at a staff piece about every 10 hours or so, which is going to net you about 2 bill, around 200 mil an hour just in the staff piece. Stupid, stupid, stupid money. So care pack definitely is going to be here up in this like S-ish tier. All right, Glacor, same thing. Uh, we're going to be talking about normal and hard mode. Normal mode I'd put in about 10 to 25 for sure. Hard mode, however, it depends on your luck. But I would say hard more Glacor just because of how rare. We're going to say the average uh, person can only do a streak of up to like a thousand percent. You know, I don't want to go into like the 0.1 percenters or anything like that. The people that can streak up to 200 kill streaks. So we're going to put Glacor at. This is a hard one. It's going to be between here. Just because, I mean, some people go 1500 kills dry without seeing a core, but we'll put it at 50 to 75 just based off average luck. For hard mode arch glacier and next up we've got crisis this boss prince it's going to be in the 75 to 100 mil range a little bit under aod probably 
but if you're getting lucky at this boss, this boss can print. It's a 1 in 50 drop rate, 335 mil per uh, average drop. It's definitely going to be up here in this range. Super, super, super good boss to learn. If you guys are interested in a four-man guide um, like that's super in-depth, let me know. That's definitely something I could do. Next, we got Chaos Elemental. It's going to be worse than Corporal Beast. Almost not even worth killing this boss. I would definitely never, ever suggest it. If you're trying to make money, if you're just going for the pet or the log, then yeah, knock it out. But not a good boss. Next, we've got Krill. Krill's okay money. Uh, components aren't too, too expensive for Krill. I would still put Krill in about the 10 to 25. That's where about most of the GD, GWD1 bosses are going to go. Um, so we'll put Krill there. Next, we've got Bandos. Bandos is going to be a little bit worse than Krill. And honestly, I'm going to put it here, 10 mil or below. The components are just aren't that good at Bandos. And, the, you know, the Bandos being one of the, the longer kills for the average player. Uh, we're going to chuck it down here at the 10 mil or below. But it's going to be close to that 10 mil range. Zilliana. Zilliana is probably going to go behind Krill here. Uh, you know, you can kill Z Zilliana pretty fast for a decent money. Next, we've got Twin Furies. Twin Furies is going to be better than Krill and Zilli, but it's not going to be over 25 to 50 mil for sure. So we're going to check that in the 10 to 25 mil range. The Blade of Nomura and Avarice Blade just aren't the greatest GP. Then we got Kriara. Kriara is actually really, really good money. The price of Armadillo components is, are really good. And I almost want to say it could be more money than Twin Furies. It's going to be close here, but just for the sake of the video, we'll throw it out before Twin Furies and say it's just a little less money. All right, next we got Vindicta, and all these God w GW2 bosses are assuming highest rep reputation, by the way, so best drop rate. We're going to put Vindicta here in the 25 to 50 mil range. Uh, you can almost see a Lance, you know, every hour or so. Uh, or that or that or a Crest, which are both about 50 mil. So Vindicta is here. Not, definitely not as good as EV2, but we'll throw it here. Next is Hellweir. Hellweir is super easy to AFK. Wanda Seerweir is pretty good money. It's going to be probably a little bit more just because of the essence price than Vindicta per hour. So we'll chuck Hellweir right there in that 25 to 50 mil range. Greg's going to be the same thing. If you can AFK it efficiently, it's going to be a little bit better than Hellweir actually. So for God Wars 102, this is how I would kill them for money. We've got King Black Dragon, just terrible. It's just, it's terrible. It's probably a little bit better than Chaos Elemental, but it's just, yeah, don't ever go down this road. <laughs> do never, never do it. And Califite King, we've got uh, probably, um, the drop rate on Drygors isn't bad. If you're soloing, I would say it's a little bit better than Hellweir per hour. Uh, and it just depends on how lucky you get with Drygors and which ones you get and everything. All of them about sitting 40 to 50 mil right now. So, yeah, it's probably about the 25 to 50 mil range for Califite King. Califite Queen's going to be really bad. It's, nothing's bad as uh, Chaos Elemental, of course. So, we'll throw it there. Uh, KVD is probably just a little bit better than Legions. Legions can be insane, insane, insane GP. We're actually going to put a Legions above hard mode glacier if you're fast with legions you can print these crossbows that are just stupid gp 200 mil plus plus you could probably do a crossbow an hour honestly you really honestly could if you were if you got decent drop rate so we'll put it here above hard mode glacier so we've got magister magister's not great uh probably better than greg um and it's got high requirements not really the best boss for money but We'll throw it up there. Uh, Rex Matriarchs, we're going to throw here in the 10 to 25 mil GP. Uh, it's going to be closer to 25 mil, depending on which ones you're killing, which ones you're camping, if you're doing all three, solo, duo, whatever. Uh, pretty good money, though, overall. The heart of the, 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 the drops are really good. The hearts and the uh, staff, or the sword pieces. And next, we've got Giant Mole. This is terrible as well. Um, still probably better than Chaos Elemental, however. Um, so yeah, we're going to throw Giant Mole right there uh, in the 10 mil or below. Don't kill it. Don't do it. Next next is going to be 25 to 50 mil range, but probably on average better GP per hour than uh, Elite Dungeon 2. With the price of Torva going up uh, as it is right now, and the, the drop rate being about a 1 in 40, and you can get about 2 minute kills, I would definitely say next is really good money. QBD. QBD is not the greatest uh, at all. It's probably better than... 
Brill and Ziliana, but it's going to be that 10 to 25 mil range. So we'll throw it in there. Um, not the best boss to kill, but a good beginner boss for sure. And Ambassador uh, really just depends on how lucky you get here. Uh, this is a hard one because, you know, Eldritch Crossbow pieces are roughly a bill piece. But 1 in 55, we're going to chuck ED3. Man, I think people are really going to hate me for this one, but we'll throw it here. We'll throw it here at, b before uh, hard mode Glacier. 50 to 75 mil, but I don't think it's getting close to that 75 mil range. All right, now we got Raksha here. Raksha is really, really, really good money. Commons are terrible, but the drop rate for Uniques really isn't that bad. I would say Raksha is a little bit worse than hard mode Glacier, but definitely better than EV3. We have the Spider. Spider's not the best money, but definitely not bad. I would say the spider is probably closer to 50 mil, maybe a little bit over, but we'll throw it at the top of this tier. Got Rots. Rots really isn't that great. Um, it's probably better than Matriarchs, and it probably could go like here ish. We'll throw it above Hellweir and Vindicta um, in that 25 to 50 mil range, just the price of Malevolent Energy and how fast you can kill them. Uh, Actually, on uh, second thought, I really I can't. I, I'm gonna move this. If you can get speedy, speedy kills, the reason why I'm kind of unknown on this one is I don't do rots, but I could, I've seen some people make some crazy money per hour with this, so we'll, we'll throw it up closer. I think it's gonna be closer to that 50 mil an hour range. We got Saryu. Saryu is really hard, but I'm gonna put Saryu just because it's so consistent with the GP, and this is, you know, if you're getting at least three solos an hour, you know, four if you're pretty good. Um, the, it's gonna be the 75 to 100 mil range, nearing 100 mil. And I'm gonna say it's better than Kerasis, but probably not as good as AOD. Black as well. This boss just prints GP, you know, as the price of splits, you're probably getting 100 mil plus an hour. Uh, I don't know if it's as good as Care Pack, however, I'm not as knowledgeable, but we'll throw it there. Virago, same thing. Seismic wands are just so good. It just Virago is just such good GP per hour. We're gonna put it in that hundred mil plus in a, uh, an hour range. All right, and finally Telos. And this really depends if you're streaking at twenty four ninety nine and claiming there, you're gonna be probably hitting hundred mil plus an hour. But we're just gonna say the average person can't do that, and I'm gonna put it at seventy five to hundred behind Caracas. This is our tier list finished here. Uh, take a good look at it. I, you know, if you got some a friend that's like, I don't know how to make money, you can just direct them right to this video. This is how you're gonna do it. Uh, this the best money per hour is gonna be Care Pack, Stolak, and Virago, I would say, with AOD close behind. Um, then Sari is really consistent. If you guys disagree, feel free to leave a comment. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna disagree on this one. Tier lists are always controversial, but that's kind of the fun of it. This was a different kind of video, so if you guys enjoyed it, leave, let me know, leave a like, comment. Uh, and make sure you guys subscribe, Bond Giveaway at 100. Follow NuzNuz on Twitter. Uh, thanks for the, the tier list, NuzNuz, here on Tier Maker. I'll leave a uh, link to this in the description if this is something you guys wanted to do. But yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.